Hey guys, long time no see. It's been about six months, maybe. <laughs> I hope your year has gone well, and uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm so sorry for not being able to upload as many videos um, as I have in the past. Basically, life has been busy. I know everyone says that, but it really has been. Uh, I'm in my senior year uh, in college, and classes have really started to pick up. Alright, so first we're going to go into the news, and then I'll talk to you more about the project. Evangelion 3.33. What more can I say? That's that's about everything that's happened uh, since I last updated. Um, Funimation has picked it up. We've confirmed that. Of course, I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out when a DVD and Blu-ray release date is set. Um, speaking of that, I saw a few comments in some of the videos um, on what my opinion is of the film. And I hate saying this, but I feel like I can't give an opinion yet. And the reason is, I feel like Evangelion 3.33 is part one of the final film. It would be like judging, the first thing that pops in my head, Harry Potter, it would be like judging the Deathly Hallows film if you would only watch part one. I guess it's self-explanatory, but I just feel like Evangelion 3.33, it ended so abruptly and left us with so many questions that I feel like um, I can't give a full opinion on it until this, the 4.0 comes out. But I do want to know what you guys think, so put it in the comments. I want to read all your responses. Um, I will say one thing. Um, if you haven't yet seen the film, have an open mind. It's unlike any Evangelion uh, that has been released. So that's about it for news. Um, there is one thing that i like to mention. It's kind of unrelated, but uh, I did see Pacific Rim a few months back, and it did have this whole Evangelion vibe, so if you're interested in seeing an Evangelion-esque live action film, I, I, I recommend it. it. It was pretty good. Alright, that's pretty much it for news. Um, I do have a few reviews from the last update video that I had. I remember I mentioned three books that were released, that were going to be released, and um, I just happened to order them, so I want to show you guys what exactly they're like and whether you would want them or not. Alright, first up we have the Evangelion Chronicle illustrations. This is the first book that's going to be, re be released out of the three. There's going to be Side A and Side B. Side A will cover episodes 1 through 14, and Side B will co cover the rest of the episodes plus the films. Um, this is just simply illustrations. The other, Side A and Side B, are going to have analysis, episode by episode analysis, all that good stuff. But this is the first book. Um, if you're at all interested in art in general, uh, I, I would highly recommend this book. It's freaking huge. It has a poster, a little insert of the final battle with the harpies and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, if you're not an art fan at all, I wouldn't recommend this, obviously. I mean, it's an art book, but it, um, it's pretty interesting. It has sketches and um, the, obviously the art colored. Um, it has all the characters. Um, basically, the, these illustrations are the exclusive artwork that was found in the Evangelion Chronicle an encyclopedia that was exclusively published in Japan. So basically they compiled it all in one book. Uh, so yeah, um, at, there is one thing that's really interesting. At the end, all the artists put how they were inspired by Evangelion um, and what inspired them to do their specific drawings. Uh, it's really cool, they, they, they talk about how they first saw Ava on TV uh, it's just nice to get like a Japanese perspective um, on the series, you know? So yeah, that's Evangelion Chronicle. Um, next up, we have the Evangelion Manga Volume. Uh, this was released back in November. This is the second to last man manga volume that's going to be released. Um, not much to say about it without spoiling things, but um, it is different from the anime, the ending. Uh, just from what I've seen so far. There is one thing that's different about this volume compared to the all the other previous volumes. At the end, there's no uh, special feature. Usually there's a special feature that goes in, that has an interview or uh, a glossary of, of different terms and things. Uh, this one didn't seem to have it. Um, the only reason that that had to happen was because they had to rush this out because they wanted to do a joint release. This was released the same day as it was in Japan, and to do that they had to, they obviously didn't have time to write a special feature, uh, or include one. So, 
If you, if you like the manga, highly recommend it. Uh, just one more to go. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, one more book. The Evangelion Comic Tribute. This is an interesting read. Um, I'm, I'm about halfway through it. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's basically... Uh, these Japanese artists, they make these parodies about the fact that Evangelion is a cash cow and um, just different aspects of the series that were always, you know, criticized by certain people. The complex plot, uh, you know, the religious symbols. It's basically a book of parodies. Uh, the art, the artwork is very good. I recognize a lot of the names of the manga artists too, so. Um, it was only 10 bucks on Amazon. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> you can check it out if this is your thing. All right. That's all the news and reviews we have. I hope you guys enjoy this new episode. Uh, it was a little shorter than the previous ones, but I really wanted to include these minor characters. And frankly, I really just wanted to get something out for you guys because it's been so long. Um, I have the script for the next episode done, and uh, I'll be editing very soon. If there are any more delays in the next episode, I apologize. I'm really going to try and get these episodes as quick as I can to you guys. Um, I apologize for the huge delay. The past six months, my life has just been very busy. I know everyone says that, but I'm being honest. <laughs> and um, thank you for all your support, all your comments. I promise I read every single one of them. That's what keeps me going. Stay tuned, guys, because there's a lot more to come. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.